is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do another painting on an 8 by 10 canvas. Uh, these, this painting will be the funnel pour, I promised. And it will, again, be using the same kind of color combination. Uh, we will be using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Purple that I mixed using just blue and red. That's this bottle. We'll use the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. It is a very sparkly uh, paint. And then along with their Artist Loft Metallic Orange. Apparently it's a pretty messy bottle there. And the Liquitex Brilliant Yellow Green. Those are all of our colors we're using today. This will be a funnel pour using a pancake batter dispenser. So you just leave this part down while you fill it. And this is just dry paint. It won't harm our painting. And just, the only trick here is to make sure this is down the entire time. It's got like a little trigger. So you just pull that up and it lets the paint out. So you can let it, you have a lot of control over how much you let out. So we will go ahead and get started. Now, unlike when you do a tree ring, whatever's on the bottom of your dirty cup is what's on the top. Whatever I put in here first will come out first, so it'll be on the outside or on the bottom of our puddle here. So, to keep that in mind, so we've got the purple. Next to that, I'll put this brilliant green, which I love. Put a little bit of the cobalt blue. It's already creating cells in there, looking really cool. Some orange. We are definitely going for a Halloween theme painting here. I unfortunately do not know how much paint this funnel holds. So, yeah. I'm just going to do two more little pours. Okay, maybe three. Because I do want to get just a dab more of this uh, cobalt blue in here. And we're going to call that good. If we need more, I can pour more in here. And I was just thinking about it. I think I am going to do this as a traveling because it'll be really easy to do that. We're just going to start in the upper corner here. And just let it go a little bit. So far, I am in love. Sorry for the lack of chatting during this part. Just some mild concentration happening. Okay. Still have a little bit of paint in here, so I'm going to start back over in this vicinity. Don't know if this will actually make it on the final pour may get pushed out. I'm going to see if I can try to set this down. There's not a lot of paint left in here, so hopefully I can make it work. Okay. So far, amazing. I'm going to go ahead and torch it because why not? We've got to get our, get it all the way to the edges here. Don't exactly want that much to fall off that edge. So pretty. Okay. All right. I am 
happy with that. That looks so cool. We've definitely got that green, that yellow green coming through, and that cobalt blue is just beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and torch it one more time here, just to make sure. Something looks a little funky over here, so I'm going to see. Oh, it could have just been me. All right, I will touch up the edges and then bring you in for a close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. This is amazing. So we've got the green, the, the yellow green, the blue, and the orange. A little bit of purple here, but this is a really bright corner. And then up the left-hand side, we get all that purple and tons of little bitty tiny um, yellow and yellow, green, and orange cells. And then all this like cobalt blue is just like little rivers running through everything. It is a... Uh, not a lot of cells in that, but it's definitely made its appearance in this section. Like little veins or something. And then it really is all the way over here. This is very uh, galactic or oceany colors here with the uh, yellow green cells. A few orange ones and a little bit of purple, but not a whole lot on this side. It's a very pretty painting here. I am very happy with it love it love it love it love it i do want to thank you for watching let me know what you think about this painting in the comments don't forget to subscribe like and share and do it makes you happy